Okay, I've had requests from many people about how I build these VTOL RC aircraft. I started off with the high wing here originally. This is a 3S model. I converted it to 4S just by changing a setting on the uh, battery voltage. So it's best in my recommendation that you do start with uh, electronic speed controllers, ESCs, that do have a 4S voltage tolerance. And that way you can upgrade to 4S because you will get a lot higher speed, a better response in VTOL mode when it's hovering. The high wing is obviously a little bit slightly easier to fly than a low wing, but there's not a huge difference between it. For a skilled or intermediate pilot, you'll have no trouble at all flying this type of low wing VTOL. If you have a good uh, airfoil shape with a little bit of internal washout, I usually make the wings completely straight, there's no washout, but I just put a little bit of washout down here so the inside of the wing dips down about, I'm not sure, maybe an extra one, one and a half degrees in the middle. That way the centre of the wing will stall first and it'll drop the nose of the aircraft down. It is a very forgiving, good style of uh, stall proof wing. If you use a NASA 2412 airfoil shape or something similar with a semi airfoil shape which is very forgiving. The, all of my models stay under about one and a half kilos weight. They are 1.5 metre wingspan, every one of them. They have generally a 2200 3S battery in this one or a 15 or 1600 4S battery in the faster model. The faster models prefer a smaller diameter propeller and will go a lot faster. This model does about 140, 150 kilometers an hour. The 3S model does, I'm not sure, probably only a little over 100 kilometers an hour top speed. Now, some of these that I've built, I did a lot extra work and I did an enclosed nacelle, you can see here with the motor. It takes quite a bit of engineering and designing to get that all to function and clear inside. I do have a website, uh, I do have links which I'll put in the top of the pin to the top description. Um, in the underneath the YouTube video. I'll have links there with all the information on uh, wingspan, specifications, weights, motors, propellers, pretty much anything you'll need to build a model. Now most of these planes will fly very well in hover and in forward flight transition. The better you can do a test, a test stand to balance the, and how could I say, calibrate the transition mode from hover to forward flight. I've got a short video, if you find that amongst my videos you'll see a video of me having a test stand and doing the transition. Now I'll just briefly show you the construction technique that I use on most of the models. Um, this one here, I'll take that away. This, this model here is in the process of being constructed. There's many different ways you can do the tilt mechanism. It's very simple, basically at 45 degrees you can see the servo is at perpendicular and so is the mechanism inside here. I don't bother with ball joints and all that, it just adds extra weight. Just make sure you've got good rigid linkages here and no slop or play. You want very solid movement between the servo and the motor. If you've got, if you've got movement you'll get cavitation and it'll vibrate and it'll, it'll almost want to throw the motor off the model. You have to have the good solid connection. And same with this, you want this very solid and rigid. 
so the motors don't vibrate on the front. Okay, I'll just set this camera up over here. Where am I? Uh, 